do you think is about to happen today? I have no idea. What do you know about the furry community? <laughs> Like that's the name of them, or you just mean in general furry animals? They they f with uh, tails on and. Sh <laughs> what do you know about furry specifically? Furry nothing. I don't know, man. They dress up like Star Fox and they f each other. Is there a furry behind me? Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hi. hi. Oh my gosh. Aww. You guys are, p wait. Now I feel bad for like laughing in person. This is, this is much different. My name is Lumio Draco, that is my fur name, and I am a celestial moon dragon. My fursona is Haven Fusky. I've been in the furry community slash fandom for four years now. I have been in the fandom for, I want to say going on seven years now. I've never had one of those moments where, oh, are they right behind me? But as soon as I started making jokes about furries, I heard the, the rattling. And I'm assuming y'all don't commit a lot of crime because you can't sneak up on them. You can't. <laughs> <hide> <laughs> no. <out of> people, <laughs> no. I'm assuming you're a docile people. <laughs> <laughs> no. The furry community is essentially enthusiasts of anthropomorphic animals, which means animals with human-like characteristics. I've had so many questions, and now I'm just like frozen, mostly because y'all still look like y'all could hurt me if y'all felt like it. <laughs> you don't have any fur. I don't. It's I'm a what scaly. you would call a scaly. A scaly. Yes. How you dress, is that how you see yourself? Yeah, it's called a fursona. Where do you usually go in character? Uh, whatever there's an opportunity. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, commonly, the furry community has their own furry conventions that they go to. Other than conventions, I go out to clubs like this. And then also, we've done charity, I've done parades, we we'll go to children's hospitals to kind of brighten up their day. We actually have a group that's devoted to doing it on a weekly basis to cheer wow. up the children. Yeah. Oh, that's incredible. Yeah. I have to ask, how white is... How white is furry? Yeah. I don't just know the statistics, bluntly, but yeah, Bluntly it, speaking, it's pretty white. There's a group that just started doing uh, POC-focused room parties. Yeah. And I'm like, yes, that's awesome, that's amazing. It's very open across the spectrum of LGBT. Oh, yeah. One of the biggest diversities in our fandom is we come from a wide spectrum of uh, sexual orientation, gender identity, and gender expression. I've been an out and open gay man for many years, and what I've found with the community, because we sort of exist as these characters, we are much more likely to open up. A lot of people who enter into this community, they're very pressured to be someone that they're not. By creating a persona, you can alter that and have the ability to really discover who you are from a third person perspective. Do you only do relationships with other furries or do you have like a furry relationship versus like human relationship? You know, I, I'm one of those, I'm, I would be open either way. As long as I feel that we're gonna get along in general, then you know, it, it doesn't matter. And if they can deal with this every now and then. So I've seen like some furry porn, I guess. Uh -huh. You know, they, do, they have the ears and they have the bunny tail. Mm -hmm. And that's usually <laughs> as far as I've seen. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen two people in costumes. Is that a, like, okay. So, because we're adults here, uh, you know, you have to say it's something that does happen, but it's not as often people as think. people think. There are people that enjoy the adult uh, aspects of it, and I think that's okay. But it's not the sort of levels of debauchery that, you know, people think, think it may be. I would say the main misconceptions would be that it's a fetish. It is not. It's an interest. It can be a lifestyle. It can be whatever you want it to be. For me personally, it's about self-exploration and self-expression. People think that we're the worst of the worst, that we don't have anywhere else to go, and so we sort of fall into the fandom. But it's entirely untrue. I think we're some of the best of what we have to offer society as people and as our characters. Before you get to know us, we may come across as kind of weird or what have you, but we come from all walks of life, all professions. I mean, we have doctors and lawyers and engineers and And the famous one is a chemist, so. Dr. Uncle Kange. You know, if you were like secretly Will Smith's a Scientologist, are there any people that y'all low-key know as a furry, but like the like like Emma Stone actually a furry, but people don't know? Yeah, oh, like so like actually yeah, like celebrities. They're, they're oh, like yeah. I don't want oh, yeah. you to out them. Oh, yeah. It's like a big deal, but yeah. there are people yeah. you know oh, like yeah. low-key. Oh yeah, that's dope. Yep. That's, that's oh, yeah. so dope. Furries who are in suit is like 15% of the fandom. You look around in your own social circle, you probably have someone who's a furry themselves. I think I'm like halfway on my way to being a furry. Oh you're, yeah, you should create a fursona. I should. If you were to wake up tomorrow as an animal, what would that animal be? 
God damn it. See, bears swim good. It'd have to be like some kind of bear with flight. Right now, I'm really into elephants, which would okay. work perfectly Ooh. for my size at this time. <laughs> some kind of flighted bear that I can yeah. like uh, swoop in and grab salmon. Like I kind of like relate, and this is weird maybe, but uh, to a phoenix, because I've been through a lot, and then I've Ooh. still managed to pull myself up. So I could do a beautiful, yeah. colorful sloth yeah, absolutely. that yeah. sleeps a lot. I don't, I don't know what to call it, though. Yeah. Well, that's the next question is, you know, what will be the name? I want it to have S's so it'll all flow like sloth. Like sloth. Do people do regular names? Like, is yeah. this just, is that like a, some, uh, like a giraffe named Darius somewhere? Yes. I keep coming up with like silly, like Buffy sort of names. Like, like what? Like Buffy. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of like Sasha. <gasps> I like Sasha. that. Yeah. Sasha. Sasha Sloth. Sa I yeah, like, like that. Sloth. I'm going like Xander. But trying to feminize it, yeah, like Zandy. Zandy. <laughs> Zandy. I like that. Zandy the Phoenix. I can't think of a name. I feel okay, so bad so on the spot. So let's let's use the drag name, the name of the first street that you grew up on, and first pet's name. That's it. <laughs> Melrose Polly. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Melrose Polly. There we go. The flying <laughs> bear squirrel. What the community means to me is a sense of family. Sometimes we come from families that can be very abusive to us. So it's nice to have a family that really does care about us and really allows us to be who we want to be. No, they were, they were super sweet. I, I figured they'd be sweet. It's actually really unfortunate that they have such a negative stereotype against them because they're just wonderful people who want to go out, escape, and make everyone else happy. And that's a wonderful thing. I just think people who don't think it's a good idea probably have a hard time being their authentic self because if you can be who you are and have fun, life is a lot more enjoyable. What you feel that you're missing in your life, you probably can and will find that within this, this particular fandom and, and within this community. Just don't judge anybody, even if they're dressed up like an animal that doesn't exist, because they're probably nice. And uh, it's not all about fucking. Is there like a is there like a higher is there like a grand wizard? Hey, unsolved is on a new channel, and now your part. Subscribe, Subscribe here. here. That was my part. <laughs>